you can get that right there. Yeah, I can get that. So right. I'm just gonna ask you some few questions and then I'm gonna pan it over there. Okay. Okay. So, hello everybody. This is uh, okay. Let's start over. <laughs> I can just hello everybody. This is Alfred at hhowatchdog.com, and I'm here with Miguel, and we're here at his beautiful boat. We're just kind of showing to you the. Uh, the application for the portable HHO system that we have so let me introduce you to Miguel um, Miguel what do we have here uh, just one of uh, Berto's typical units uh, made for boats um, we've incorporated it he's incorporated into a box and made it real compact um, you can see the unit is sets in with my batteries it also has a cover that fits on also keeping water from entering the uh, the unit so it makes it pretty easy to service and add the water to the unit um, about every 40 hours of use um, hours. it's re this this unit particular unit has which he made very easily disconnectable okay. with a plug that you just twist and pull I see and you're able to disconnect the unit disconnect the air the hydrogen line in the back it okay. has a quick disconnect and then the unit pulls out very easily so that the, the line gets installed where the line comes up through uh -huh. the back here and it's routed right into the uh, back of the the carburetor and into the flame arrestor I see so this is the engine of the boat so wh wh what kind of boat do we have here this is a 7-4 uh, Bravo 2 um, engine from okay. Merck Cruiser and it's a card rated engine I see and um, I plumb the line into right right to where it goes right down the barrel I see. of the carburetor so it picks it up real well um, so far out of it we've gained 30 percent fuel increase and um, the horsepower is unbelievable I've gotten a lot more power out of the unit I used to use in strictly 89 octane on this um, on my engine all the time and um, would never use 87 I see um, it would ping I it see. would um, it would diesel a lot with 87 that's true and my fuel mileage is very poor so I've always had to use 89 it's a high performance engine stock from her cruiser um, but uh, now with the hydrogen unit I'm I've been able to drop down that octane use 87 and I've increased 30 percent on my fuel mileage uh, the starting is easier even the fuel consumption and keeping my I mean the oil consumption and keeping my uh, oil clean um, I see. has improved too so I see so it's a great unit it works well oh great so how let, let me ask you uh, without this uh, uh, hydrogen unit uh, or, or as far as your usage with this boat, how often do you use this boat? Oh, I'm out every weekend. So and we do quite uh, long trips searching for tuna and offshore uh, fishing. We'll run it approximately 12 hours, 12 to 14 hours in a day. I see. So, so it's it, 14 hours of uh, this engine running, and the units are performing. How oh, would you rate that? Flawlessly. 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 Not a not a single issue with it. Uh, Berto's also incorporated a um, um, a pad inside of the uh, the actual holding tank to where it doesn't splash, uh, water doesn't splash and get drawn into the uh, hydrogen tube going to the carburetor because we had that issue in boats I doing see. a lot of um, yeah and we, we get a lot of movement on a boat compared to a to a car That's so right. of course you get a little bit of splash back that would get into the line and then be drawn into the carburetor um, we just didn't want that to happen so he um, he made a little splash uh, piece that fits inside of the tank so a lot of improvements on it since the very first one that he made for me and I think he's perfected it it's doing real well it's a um, it's using about 20 amps of okay. uh, power to where before we were using about 30 so he's knocked it down about 20 now and it's like I said it's a real compact unit fits in in the uh, boat and you can also unplug it two little quick disconnects and put it in your truck oh cool so, so that's my next step I'm going to use that 
in my truck as soon as I find a spot for it. So. I see. So let's say you're pulling this boat with a truck. Yeah. So when you uh, and uh, load exactly, you, you just it's install it into your truck, run into where you ever have to run you know, uh, on your trip to wherever you're going to be launching your boat. I see. Uh, unplug it, plug it back into the boat. You're ready to go again. So how how quick can you do that? Oh, matter of minutes. Matter of minutes. Yeah. So the portable uh, unit, it's really like what it is. It's portable. You can yeah. just take it from your truck yeah. then to your boat or to yeah. whatever vehicles you have. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, let me ask you one final question. Uh, would you recommend this product uh, to any of our viewers and who would you recommend it to? Anybody that wants to get a fuel increase and power increase uh, either on their, their pickup truck or their, or their boat. Um, where it's you know law where the law applies so um, where you're you're able to use it so it's basically to anyone who's got multiple vehicles oh definitely definitely just like you oh, yeah yeah all right i can't wait to try it on my truck all right great well this is al with hho watchdog this is another application for the portable units for this is the p box 2655 or whatever it is that's in there but it's a portable unit from uh, HHO Watchdog. So here's uh, another application for you. I'm signing off. Uh, let's thank Miguel. Thank you for your time. You're thank you for showing us your portable unit. Anytime. Thank you.